Hey guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Doug, and ahead of me is my girlfriend, Lauren. We're on another exploration, trying to find one more find. Uh, and by that, we mean many finds. At the very least, looking for one find. Um, today, a spot in New Jersey looking for Cretaceous-aged fossils. Uh, mainly shark teeth, but this spot has a ton of other things that we can find. Um, plesiosaur, mosasaur, uh, even has a very small chance to find dinosaur bones. Um, that case would be extremely rare, but the chance is there. Uh, my favorite find would be mosasaur. I think Lauren is just looking to find something new, um, which is pretty easy at this spot. So right now we're at a new location trying to scope out some stuff, find a spot we want to hunker down and sift for a little bit and, and find what we like. So welcome to our channel. You can expect a lot of this. This is what we're, what makes us happy. So. Pretty cool. Here's the start of the creek. It is pretty. So this is a different spot than we're usually accustomed to. We haven't come down this far yet. Um, so it'll be a kind of a new spot for us to try out all these different locations, explore, look for new spots, get our feet wet. It is very cold. <laughs> You're gonna be cold. But the banks of this creek are so cool looking. They, you can see where the, all of the material washes out from. You get your different layers of sediments and uh, it just makes like a prehistoric looking, looking landscape. Just seeing all the formations and the water's really clear today. You can see the shelves underwater. And we're starting to see what we like. The gravel. The gravel. The gravel. Oh, I can take that now too. Shout out to Greg for making us these awesome sifters. We had our own, but he one-upped us and made some professional grade um, quality sifters. And they work perfect. Mm. Secretly, Lauren has hoof feet. Oh, and those must be mine. <laughs> that looks like raccoon. <laughs> oh, that was slippery. Big log jam up here. Couldn't have asked for a better day. Out of the oh, there's fish too. There could be a turtle or something underneath there, mm. or a gas pocket. And a couple minutes of walking, we have our first find of the day. Just a fragment, but that. Oh, actually, no, it's full. Let's wash it off. It's very sharp. That is a, I think it's like 68 to 72 million year old fossil shark's tooth. Um, I'm still learning identification, but I believe this is a goblin. If it had cusp, it would probably be a mackerel, but it looks like a, looks like a goblin to me. Very cool. And just like that, at the same time, Laura and I found more teeth. So here's mine, little baby guy. Looks like the tip is broken off, but the rest is good. And then over here, Lauren called me. Granted, this is three teeth within like five minutes and we just got here. Less than five minutes. Let's see it. Oh, that's a great one. Oh, it's broken. Still, that's a big boy. That I believe is a mackerel, mackerel shark. Good find. Thanks. 
I wanted to show off something cool, and the reason we're able to find so much stuff in this creek, sorry if the camera angles are a little wonky at first, we're starting all this process, so there's gonna be some growing pains, but what I was saying is, all of this stuff that we're finding in the creek and that is allowed to be collected, we are not digging into the banks at all, but we're finding the gravel that's um, located on the, on the stream surface. But what I wanted to show off was this awesome wall that has a great example of where all that gravel comes from. Um, it is just an amalgamation of ancient soils, rocks, and mosses, and just different layers of history. And the stuff that we're finding washes out directly from these banks as the creek kind of ebbs and flows through here. Um, storms have a big impact. They erode more things out of the creek. Uh, just time, time always erodes, and then just water movements and changes in things like that. Even human activity can change the flow of streams. Um, and what we look for is those big gravel bars, uh, either in the water or on the surface. And we normally start out with scanning, um, after we feel like we've looked at everything scanning-wise, then we try and sift a little bit to pick up anything that we've missed in the water, things like that. And one of my golden rules is to always pick up things that you're not sure of. In this case, it's just a big pile of, looks like mud or peat moss, something like that, so... Yeah. Most of the time, what you're looking for is much harder to see, so I picked it already, but I put it back exactly where it was. All I saw was the root and just because I'm looking for that specific shape I was able to oh I just threw it away there we go I was able to find that guy with the root buried the tip is broken but that is a good sized tooth nice how's your sub Super good. <laughs> this big piece of bone it is definitely not modern it's jet black and heavy and fossils that we find um, one good test is to see the kind of mineralization and the weight of them. And this guy is hollow, yet very, very heavy. Can you hold this? I think I just found a tooth. <laughs> On the spot. Yeah, you did. Looks like a tan color. Oh, coming out of the matrix. No way. That is an awesome find. Thank you. You just found this and that. Nice. Well, I was trying to explain that. You're up here showing me up with, yep. with uh, just pulling out teeth. That's why you pay me the big bucks. That's why I pay you the big bucks. Good job. So Lauren, once again showing me up, was coming to help me film something. And uh, she's been pulling bone left and right out of the water. Uh, it is not modern bone. This is, this is fossilized. It feels like rock. It's heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. And this is a big chunk of bone. Uh, I do not know any of the IDs of this as of right now, so I will stick those in post, hopefully, or after I get them identified, I'll put it in the comments. Um, but just so much stuff here. We're gonna try our luck with sifting, so I'll pass the camera over. Great find. Um, so one of the things we like to do is after we found a spot is take our sifters, and I don't even use a scoop, I just use the sifter itself. Some places it's easier than others, and Sometimes it's a little harder depending on the sediment, but I'll grab it, give it a good sift, and then we get to look through all of the hidden stuff underneath the sediments. And most of the time we'll find, find good stuff depending on the spot. This spot, I'm not sure, could be anything, but I just casually kind of look through, going slowly. Anytime you're looking for fossils, you want to be as methodical and slow as possible. You will find more stuff. Rushing will often skip over things that the eye just doesn't focus on. So I don't think we got anything in this one. But that's why we have so many more scoops to go. Almost looks too good to be true. Look at that, sitting right on the surface. Beautiful cream color. Uh, it's like a, a greenish tan. It's missing one cusplet or it's just one with one. Um, 
has a tiny little tooth there, if you can see. Beautiful find. We came up upon this spot right here. Lots of big gravel sitting on the top, and that is what we love to see. Check in next time when we find something else. But here's that tooth again. Beautiful. Nice size too, about an inch. Oh, this is obsidian. That is a gorgeous piece of obsidian. Yeah. This is what we love to find here. This is one of those weird things that's not necessarily fossil related. It can be, um, but this is fossil, or geez, this is obsidian. And it is just so pretty, especially when it dries out. Um, either way, it looks beautiful. Check this out. Got another little piece of candy if I can find it again. Oh, yep, I see it. Beautiful, haven't touched it yet. Sitting right there and it's complete. Nice. Double cusps, beautiful root, and it's still sharp. This must have come out recently. Most of the time at this spot, the, the things that we find are not complete. So we're having a pretty good day with, um, with complete finds so far. I know there was rain recently and that helps, but yeah, we don't, oh, got an ant on me. Don't usually have that good of luck with complete teeth in this spot, but this has been a nice day so far. We will continue onward. Beautiful shine on the root as well. It stuck out so easily from these dry pebbles. Cool, another one. Lauren just found a little baby fishy vert. Um, probably not a baby, probably just a full size uh, fish vert, but very cool. They're a little bit harder to find too because they tend to blend in with the rocks really well. Um, but again, we look for that nice black, dark black color. Just found this guy, and then a couple inches away from that, if you look real close, focus, there's another one right here. Looks like a good one. It is a good one. Double cuss. Wow. Looks like it's missing maybe a tiny chunk of, a, of the root, but really pretty good. I think the saying is, look for order within disorder for fossils. A lot of symmetrical shapes. Shark teeth will often be certain specific shapes like T's or triangles, and look at that. That is a Squalicorax crow shark. Squalicorax being one of its scientific names. Um, I don't know which exact type this is, but this is a crow shark, and it's complete. Oh, and sticking into my leg, through the screen, ow, I was actually being stabbed by a shark tooth. Look at that. I was literally being stabbed by a shark tooth. It was in my thigh, and I will probably have a tooth mark there somewhere, but that is another one, up to three in this set. Hey y'all, this is Doug from the future. I'm doing a voiceover because the audio in the GoPro decided it wanted to be absolute dog shit. So of course we are checking in with Lauren because she is always finding something cool. In this case, she found a ammonite chunk. Uh, these are, to my knowledge, a little bit uncommon in this area. And especially when you do find them, much like the other fossils, they're in massive chunks. But we can see the suture lines here, beautiful little fossil. Great job, Lauren. Just pulled this little guy out and boy is he strange looking. It almost looks like a pathological tooth. The cusps are in the back. I'm see if I can get to focus a little bit better. Still working with this camera, so bear with me. But um, yeah, this tooth is a strange one. It's got a huge, like, bulbous root. Oh no, there it goes. Um, and then the cusps are just, like, totally backwards, or totally, like, in a weird spot, just way back there. Um, this could be another part of the mouth, or it just could be a pathological, so I'm not sure, but really Round cool find. Two of the voiceover, since the GoPro is terrible in that waterproof housing, uh, I have learned my newbie lesson 
don't worry, the audio is going to get significantly better, the video is going to get significantly better, I've upgraded for video two. But as you can see, we got some nice juicy goblin finds off the surface, just walking along, pick these up, uh, usually part of our strategy where we try and comb it first and then we sift. But as you can see, nice goblin, one is complete, one is chipped up, uh, can't complain. Then of course we jump back to Lauren and without a doubt always finding something cool. This is the first example in the video of a Encodus Fang, which is a saber-toothed herring. Uh, massive teeth and the equivalent to, you know, the fish version of a saber-toothed tiger. That's why it gets its nickname. They had these gigantic fangs in the front, followed by many sharp teeth, and uh, wouldn't want to be in the path of one of those. Sifting, found some more Squalicorax, little little pieces. And then I found something unusual, almost dropped it, which is what I love about this site so much is you never know what you're going to find. And I don't know what this is yet. It's going to be hard to show with this camera because it doesn't focus very well. It looks like a shell, but there's no shells here. And it's clearly got a cutting surface. It's a translucent tooth of some sort still attached to some kind of root. Um, or jaw segment, I'm not sure. It almost looks like it's a fish tooth of some sorts, but I've never seen this kind before here. Um, when you hold it up to the light, I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Oh, you can see it a little bit. Um, it shines through the tooth, which is very cool. Um, again, I will take some better pictures with my iPhone later to see if I can get some better detail. But, pretty cool find. Add it to the collection. All right, guys, we are heading out. We just finished up a good day at the creek. We found lots of finds. I'll do a little showcase on our uh, Instagram and Facebook pages to show off some of the finds with uh, close-up pictures and that kind of thing. Um, but for now, one more adventure, one more find, one more car trip home. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe as we are a new channel so it does help us out quite a bit. Um, and if you have any feedback, leave it in the comments below. I think I will be messing with some camera stuff because we're using a really old GoPro and I'm not sure if the quality is going to end up super perfect. So thanks for hanging with us on our adventure and we will take you on some more. Bye.